Dear Mum, Richard and Catherine, if you were reading this then something has happened and I am sorry to put you through this grief, especially you Mum, because to lose a child must be one of the worst losses ever. I just want you to know that I love you all very much and that even though I chose to spend two years in a different continent, family. My sister Charlotte was murdered in a massacre by Burundian Hutu extremists in December 2000. She'd been um, travelling on a bus that was, that was going from the Rwandan capital Kigali to the Burundian capital Bujumbura and just a few miles short of the destination the bus was ambushed. The attacker separated Hutu passengers from the rest. Um, they were forced to lie face down on the ground and, and shot uh, repeatedly. From that moment on, it, it, was, it was really a turning point in my life. Twenty-four wristwatches, thirty-nine pairs of trousers, forty-nine shirts, eight skirts, six pairs of children's shoes and clothes, a bottle of perfume and a bottle of martini. In an ambush that killed twenty-one people, a thousand rounds of ammunition were fired. I think before my sister was killed, I didn't always realise why justice was so important to people who lost loved ones. If you allow these kinds of crimes to go unpunished, then you, you get this cycle where, where justice is denied, revenge tends to fill the gap, and revenge is a lot less picky than justice. All too often, the people who become the targets of revenge are, just as Charlotte was, innocent. The people who killed Charlotte treated her and, and her fellow passengers as if their lives were essentially worthless, treated them as things that could be used. For me, the most profound value of justice is to show that those lives were not worthless.